Hi there, Bravo doers. As much as I love when my customers pay us quickly, I also make sure that we pay our bills by their due dates. At Stealthy Wood, it's our priority to keep a good relationship with our suppliers. To easily process the payments for all vendor bills recorded in my database, I simply select all of them, click on the payment button, and then let Odoo work its magic. If you're in a country that works with checks, such as the US, Odoo generates them all in one click. As for European countries, Odoo generates a .xml file that follows the separate credit transfer requirements so we can upload it to our bank interface online and have all the payments processed instantly. So let's see right now how it works with our two databases, first with checks, and then we're gonna have a look at SEPA credit transfers. All right, so here I am on my database for my company, Stealthy Wood Inc. So the Stealthy Wood that's located in the US. So let's go to the accounting module configuration settings, and we're gonna scroll down to the supplier payment section right here, and we wanna be sure that we have checks activated. So this option is already enabled for some databases depending on their physical localization. Since this is a US database, this option is enabled by default, so we're good to go there. So let's go ahead and create a couple of vendor bills. So we're gonna to go to vendors, bills, and create. Okay, so first we're gonna choose our vendor. So my first one's Happy Furniture. Okay, I'm gonna add a vendor reference. So I'm going to say um, invoice 2019-0013. Okay, and then we can auto-complete with a purchase order or an old bill, which is what I'm gonna do because it just saves me some time. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this purchase order here. Okay, I'm gonna add a due date. So I'm gonna say that it's due tomorrow. I'm gonna save and validate. Then let's go ahead and create a second one. We're gonna choose our vendor, Extrazil Flowers. Again, I'm going to select, uh, I'm just gonna auto-complete this. I'm gonna select a purchase order, but I don't wanna forget the vendor reference. So we wanna be sure that we um, write this payment reference or vendor reference correctly, the one that the supplier wrote on their invoice because we want everyone to uh, know exactly what is being paid for and we want to avoid any possible confusion. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that reference. Um, so let's say um, 2019-02-02. Okay, and then uh, we're going to add the due date as well for tomorrow and then save and validate. All right, now we're going to go to our accounting overview. And under vendor bills, we're going to see that we have two bills to pay. So let's go ahead and check these out. All right, so we have our two bills here. Now, if we have um, multiple vendor bills, an easy way to see uh, what needs to be paid and when is to group by due date and day, all right? So it's just a really convenient tool. In this case, I only have two vendor bills, so it's not really necessary. But let's go ahead and select both of these. And then we're gonna go to action and register payment. And I'm gonna choose checks here, and I wanna be sure that we have the correct payment journal selected. And then I'm going to validate. Okay, then we'll go back to our overview. And under bank, I'm gonna see that I have two checks to print. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna select the two checks, go to action, print checks. Okay, it's gonna ask me what the next check number is. So this depends on what your next check number is. Let's go ahead and click on print. Okay, it's gonna generate a PDF for me. So let's go ahead and open this. And then we have all of this information we need right here, including the reference that I added uh, manually. All right. So that's really convenient. Super cool. Okay. Once you have it printed, of course, you can close this, close this box, and we'll see that we have no more checks to print. All right. So it's really convenient. Now let's go ahead and jump to our Belgian database. So let's go over here. We're also going to go to accounting. Configuration, settings, and here we're also going to scroll down to the supplier payment section, but we want to be sure we have SEPA credit transfer activated here. So as it was uh, for checks, this option is also enabled for some databases depending on their fiscal localization. Since this is a Belgian database, this option is enabled by default. All right, so we're good to go. So Let's uh, go ahead and create a couple of vendor bills. So we're gonna go again to vendors, bills, and create. All right, so I'm gonna choose uh, my first vendor, uh, Wood Corner. 
I want to be sure that their bank account is added here, which it is. I'm going to add a vendor reference. So I'm going to say invoice um, 2019. Three, five, six. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and manually add the product. So I'm not going to autocomplete this time. Okay, we'll say storage box, five of them. All right, then we're gonna save and validate. Now let's go ahead and create a second one. Okay, this will be for a ready mat. Okay, product, large cabinet. Okay, vendor reference. So uh, for the vendor reference, I'm going to say um, 01, 2019, 09. Okay, and I wanna be sure that I have the correct bank account selected and also that the currency is in euros as well. Okay, um, we need to um, be sure of both of these things for the SEPA credit transfer. So let's go ahead and save and validate. All right, and then we can go to our overview and we're gonna see that we have these two uh, bills to pay. So let's go ahead and select these. Again, we're gonna register the payment. So you see there are a lot of similarities between the two flows. Okay, this time we're gonna choose SEPA credit transfer. Also make sure that we have chosen the correct payment journal and validate. Okay, then we're gonna go back to our overview and under bank, we're gonna see that we have two payments to send via SEPA. Okay, so let's go ahead and select this button. Select these two options or these two uh, bills, go to action. And then we're going to um, confirm the payment. Okay, or I'm sorry, we're gonna create a batch payment. So let's go ahead and click this right now. And then we're gonna validate. Okay, and then we're going to be able to um, save a .xml file. So this file can be uploaded to your banking interface to make all the payments at once. So it's super easy and convenient. All right, I'm going to close this. Once we go back, we'll see that we have no more step of credit transfers to send, so we're good to go. All right, we have no more bills to pay. So both of these flows are quite um, intuitive, quite easy. And that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.